We're living through the toughest economic times in recent memory, with 90% of us saying that we're going to be cutting back on our spending, and yet few of us are going to be cutting back on our holidays. So how is this possible? Well, it would seem that the answer can be found here. The caravan clubs say the bookings are up by 40% this year, with the Great Escape becoming the Great British Staycation. More people are deciding to stay at home this year than travel abroad. I think. Uh, uh, enjoying one's own figures show that one in five people are perhaps switching from going abroad to staying at home uh, rather than cut out the holiday and holidays are fairly resistant I think to recessions people need their break they need their holiday and people with caravans are going to make more use of them this year so instead of perhaps one or two short holidays they can have three or four and I think everyone's hoping and expecting a warm dry summer this year and that's really the final thing you need to make uh, the UK a great holiday destination. The image of caravanning is a weekend of twiddling your thumbs whilst you long for the creature comforts of home changed many years ago. Just one look at the caravan holiday category of the Enjoy England Awards for Excellence, which takes place on St George's Day, will tell you this. And when you do unhitch your wagon, you might be surprised who your neighbours are. I'm quite a new person to caravanning, uh, never went camping, never went caravanning at all when I was growing up, uh, but since having three boys and I've taken to all these lovely ho hotels and places in the world, and what do they love the best? Being in a caravan in this country with other families and just running riot. Campsites these days have got so, uh, the facilities, it isn't a throwback to the 50s and 60s when there was just the old standpipe and all that, you know, and, uh, you know, you have big, big bars and swimming pools, indoor swimming pools, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all there for you, really. I swear, on my children's lives, if you said to them now, what's your favourite holiday, they'd say, oh, when we went down to Devon and we stayed in that caravan, they, they do. But is this just a flash in the pan? When the recession has ended, will caravans be left unwanted on the driveways of England? Well, I think that the... Um, market for holidays within England uh, and the UK generally will stay good and positive. It's got all of the right things for a good holiday. Uh, and we don't really want to have sort of peaks and troughs in holiday demand. So if we can build on the experience of this year, which I think we will do, because so many people will have good holidays, and that will therefore remain an option for the future. There's a lot to see in our own country. And so the future for caravanning is bright then. But if you do want to go away in England this year, where should you be heading? Well, it looks like you're spoiled for choice. An area that I've never been, I've never really travelled that much in the UK, any cities, um, is Cornwall and Devon. And we literally found this sort of three years ago, and we're actually down there this week. I think the place that surprised me the most was uh, beautiful Northumberland, above Newcastle, and, and, and all that coast up, up that way, Annick and, and all that area. It is still relatively unspoiled, so get up there. Um, it has some of the best beaches. And you can take your caravan like a tortoise with your shell on your back, your home on your back, and you can take it and see these wonderful places that otherwise you probably wouldn't do. You wouldn't go there. But when you're, when you're on your holiday and you can just take your, your little mini hotel on your back and you travel along and you see these fantastic places, and I think, I, for me it's, it's a ter terrific way to, to have a holiday and to see the most stunning part of the world that is our home.